<gasps> What's going on? Where are we going? You going on an adventure? Huh? Okay. Layla, can we go outside? Yeah, you put me in the dog stroller, we'll go someplace. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! Yeah, so we got a stroller? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go wherever I want to go. Try it. Yeah, oh, struggle is real. Wow. You guys. Did you have fun picking her up like that? Yeah. <laughs> Layla. Layla! No, I'm sniffing right now. Layla. What scent is this? You want some? It smells Layla. familiar. Layla. 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 You want some? You're such an asshole, Layla. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? What's going on guys? So, taking little Layla out right now for a walk in the stroller. Yes, that's an actual stroller for dogs, not an actual stroller for babies, but you know, got it from Amazon. Got it for a really good deal. So, for those who don't want to get their little pups, you know, dirty, but yet want to go for a walk here and there, and still want to make sure that they're well maintained. Or if you want to do groceries, put your bags in here. Yeah, is that what it's for? Remember it had like an undercarriage? and it broke off because we overfilled it. It has cup holders. It's really dirty because it's been in the basement for a long time. But, but you got, got a one little sunroof sun there. Cup holders go there. It collapses pretty much with that handle. And then you can fold it anywhere and put yeah, it in the right. trunk of your seat or in the back of your little trunk. It has brakes. And it's good to go. It's got brake pedals. So let's go for a little adventure, yeah? So working past right now for the past full week working at home kind of gets you crazy, you know? So going for a walk is definitely an essential for one's health to make sure that their body keeps moving around since gyms are pretty much closed and paying a membership fee monthly and them to not credit it back to you, wink, wink. Yeah, it's not really fair. So we're making the best that we can right now pretty much is taking any type of opportunity going outside since we have this luxury in our area having a nice little trail of an outdoor scenery of seeing the trees and looking at things blossom and you know bringing out Layla for a nice little walk also as well and pushing her around and driving Miss Daisy. Her enjoying herself and having some scenic you know view of you know her surroundings of the area. I'm sure that she's loving it. Yeah, what the hell is going on in here? Faster. Yeah, but you know what? Go faster. I don't have a pedal here to go faster. Faster. Yeah. Oh. So right now we're just pretty much just vlogging with the Canon 16x35 f2.8 version 2 with the Canon EOS R system with the regular adapter. I have it pretty much set right now in manual mode. Shutter priority speed is right now at uh, 150th with 2.8 aperture down to 100 ISO. And yes, if you're not messing around with variable ND filters, you should definitely get them. Or else you're going to be well overexposed and you want to make sure that certain things too as well stay clear and cinematic with how you're recording with your system guys always invest in variable nd filters look at that hi guys yeah that's so beautiful hi guys how could you love me how could you love me oh whatever <laughs> hey layla what's, what's going, going on in? dude what's going on yeah subscribe click, click that like button like share do all that fun Woo! stuff it looks like a bunch of tampons on there. Where? Right there on this. See? Right there? A bunch of brown tampons. Oh, those guys? Yeah. How <laughs> oh, do those look like tampons? They just do. To you? Yes. You're sick in the head. Ugh. Just that person that went in the city and you asked for tampons from me. Now you're thinking tampons. <laughs> big boy. It's your kind, Layla. It's a big boy. Yeah. Okay, let me up there. Let me talk to him. I'm right here. Let me talk to him. Let's do this. I'm ready. What? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. You always gotta have that, you know, that junkyard dog. There he is. Yeah. Get him. Oh, get 
Get him, Ava. Get him. What's he saying? Get him. Get him. Get him. That's it? That's it? I just got stabbed by a bush. What? Yeah. So was it worth right there, Layla, for seeing another puppy and a dog? No, because I can't sniff him. Oh, I can't sniff the butt, you know. Because dogs, you know, they got to pretty much sniff on everything. Sniff on dogs, sniff on butts, sniff on everything. Woo! Let me the freak out of here. This is animal torture. I'm gonna call Beta on you. Pip. Layla. Get this party That's started. backwards. Yeah. yeah. Get this party started now, butthole. Guess what? We're not that far from Burger King right now, guys. There's a Burger King like literally just straight over there. This is a pretty good setup. The electronic image stabilization is set to just normal. If you do put it to, I think, uh, one notch just over normal, you get that little, you know, crazy, you know, bending in the background, the frames, and the image just looks distorted, kind of like the GH5. But obviously, with the 16 by 35 version 2, there's no IS versus the F, you know, 4. But, you know, this has got some little bit more oomph weight. So, usually gears that I like that has more weight is easier to pretty much also hold and have a stable of a camera. But yes, variable ND filters. Yeah, you definitely need that to make sure that you get a nice cinematic crisp, you know, look to it. Let's just bump this up a little bit to... There we go. Yeah, see? Uh, we go a little bit dark here and there we go. Woo! Yeah, that's a little bit more clear, yeah? Much a little better. You guys say so yourself. But yeah, you get the picture. It's a nice little beautiful scenery that we're getting around here. It's almost past someone's bedtime. I heard that as well. What happened? I heard that. Oh, I heard that. this pip right here. That pip. This pip. So yeah, ah yes, for the body, electronically, yeah, it's pretty doable. It's not that bad compared to his other cameras out there. Uh oh, she's going for a run. Hey, let's go for a run right now too. Let's see if we can keep up. I'm going for a run. Ha, 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 ha. Can you keep up? Yeah, it's pretty low. Look at how she walks with her midget legs. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think of the setup, if it's good. I mean, I always did believe in variable ND filters because if you're shooting always and vlogging every time in daylight, then you're always had to manually expose and making sure that you're shooting at a frame rate 24 frames per second and try and get that best cinematic look. Because the difference between shooting an auto versus manual is that you get that little bit of weird jitters and movements. See how that looks? Now if I put it to auto mode, this is exactly what it looks like. Now this is shooting in automatic mode, in video mode. You see how everything looks pretty much all overly exposed and saturations everywhere. It looks too, yeah, doesn't look too good in my opinion. And this is what it looks like with the hands moving around automatic mode, yeah. I don't like it. Let's go back to manual cinematic mode. Whoop. And now back to the cinematic mode. As you can tell, there is a big difference. It's completely almost just like day and night. But what do I know? It's your video. Whatever you guys want to shoot at, go for it. It's always about the content at the end of the day and how you're presenting material to your viewers out there. There's no right or wrong answer. Stop. We have a dog here, dude. You should call Peta on us. Peta? Peta. Pada. Pada. What the fuck is that, John? Pata. Pata. Struggle. Stop it. Hold still. Hold on. Oh shit. Oh. What are you guys? Are you purposely like trying to make it extra ten times difficult? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Help me. Let me out. Yeah, let me go. Let me out the door. 
Let me shake something off. What? Dad, help me. She, she goes straight to me knowing like, oh my God. The only challenge really that's been a challenge during this whole week of being confined to one's own, you know, residence while working is sometimes just, I need a little bit more of some motivation, you know? And pressure is there to make sure that the job gets done, but it's just an odd, eerie feeling really, you know, when you try and work at your own home. But anywho, hopefully you guys liked and enjoyed this simple little vlog video. Not much really going on right now and I figured, you know, there wasn't really enough videos out there posted with this kind of setup. I forget I might as well share to you guys exactly what it would look like if you're actually thinking about investing for a setup like this. And again, if you do like it, please drop in the comments below telling me exactly what you think or what your thoughts are. Other than that, I appreciate you guys and I would appreciate even more if you actually did subscribe if you liked this video. Recording me. Stop. <laughs> you're blurred in the background, so you're bouquet out. Well, if you guys like that video, you know, drop a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and again, thank you, be safe. <laughs>